Inside 3ds Max create a sphere, go to set explosion for selected objects using Phoenix FD presets, go to the modify panel, increase the resolution to thrice as much, set the adaptive grid to smoke, go to dynamic step, time scale 0.8, large scale 1, and randomize 0.1, and steps per frame to 2, and click on simulate. Two hours later. Once your simulation is done, select your grid and go into the preview tab and set the detail reduction to one for better preview purposes inside the viewport. And now is the time for some lighting. So I'm actually going to be using V-Ray. So I'm going to go and create some V-Ray lights from the both sides, V-Ray Sun, and move it up and shift drag it to create a copy and increase the intensity for the second one and go into environment, set the V-Ray exposure control and create a camera, control C and click on render. So your render is done. You can increase the intensity for some light. And you can also do some basic color correction inside the V-Ray frame buffer. So you can add an exposure and increase or decrease the values. And once you're done, you can go ahead into the rendering tab and set your frame range from 0 to 100 since it is a simulation and click on files and set a destination and click on render and bring it into After Effects. So I brought in After Effects. I did some basic color correction using curves. So I gave it a red color so that you can see there. I added some sharpening for some more detail and some motion blur using the Real Smart Motion Blur Pro.